What is up guys, the LA Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 2 of my My Career series featuring quarterback Carter Trey, uh, who plays for the Denver Broncos. Now, we're going to start the first game of the season, but before we can do that, we have to set our season goal, which is something I really like. Now, in previous years, they would set the season goal for you, uh, but I like this a lot because you're able to decide what you think you're going to be able to do. You need to kind of set uh, the standards for yourself, and I think that's something that makes a lot of sense because in real life, uh, I mean, in real life, you're technically setting your own standards, and, and I want to live up to that. And um, so I set pretty high standards for myself. I'm going for 30 passing touchdowns this season. I figured I would show you guys that because I feel like um, throughout the season, of course, we're going to be striving to reach that goal. And um, of course, this is step one of doing so is setting that goal. So I just figured I would kind of show you guys it uh, and have you guys have the opportunity to check that out. So either way, you see, we're all getting ready before the game. You see my guys trying to get focused a little bit. Of course, there's a little bit of pressure on them right now. We're going up. Against technically what you could view as his idol. Now I wear number one. Uh, that wasn't intentional, but I do wear number one. I am a mobile quarterback, so a lot of signs point to the fact that I'm kind of like a, a Cam Newton coming back into the league, uh, into his rookie season. So I, I have a lot of similarities as Cam Newton in terms of my athletic ability and the way I play the game. If you look at my guy's stats, um, so playing against the Panthers in the very first game is definitely a funny coincidence. So we're gonna actually check out their um their offensive drive a little bit just so you guys get an idea of how they're scoring and what they're doing in the game i just figured i'd give you guys an idea or, or it would give you guys a better idea of uh how the scoreboard is the way that it is or just how the game's going on i just want to keep you guys as involved as possible but uh i'm going to try to show you guys all my offensive drives now i'm not going to just limit it or i'm not going to limit it to just drives where i uh i manage to score everything that way it keeps you guys on your toes you don't know what's going to happen uh, you're gonna have to just wait and see uh, the majority of my passes throughout this game um, and I think that's the best way to edit it so you guys don't really know how the game's going to play out or what's going to happen. But either way, we're going to get a nice little series of passes there with a great pass downfield to Demaryius Thomas. This one over the middle um, to, I believe, I, I think that was Emmanuel Sanders if I look closely enough. But uh, we start the game with 4 for 4 with 44 yards. So we're just kind of we're rocking out 4s right now. And then finally, uh, we get an incompletion here at the right side of the field on 3rd down. So we're going to have to settle for the field goal on that one. Uh, and then the same exact thing happens for the Panthers. They settle for a field goal as well. And we're down 10 to 3. Which isn't that bad. I mean, we kicked the ball to start, so it's not the worst thing to be down by just one touchdown, especially with about four minutes left going into halftime. Uh, ideally, we'd get that touchdown and possibly get the ball back at halftime. That'd be a really nice situation for us. Uh, but you see right here, there's a minute and 40 seconds left. Not a whole lot of time for us to work with, but we're going to try to move downfield uh, and see what we can do. We have about a two-minute offense that we can run right now, and I think uh, with a good set of passing plays, we'll be able to hopefully... I uh, get some points on the board. Just just anything on the board would really help. It actually looks like they got yeah they got seven more points. Actually, the Panthers did um, before this halftime. So uh, they, they're looking really good. We're gonna have to hopefully get a touch on here before halftime and after halftime if we want any luck of obviously catching up. So I'm um, gonna throw the ball over the middle here to Demarius Thomas. He's gonna get down to the 16 yard line, which is looking really good for us. Now we just need to get a couple more nice plays, uh, and we're gonna do just that. Throwing the ball over to the right side of the field here to I believe that is Emmanuel Sanders, and we're gonna get our first passing touchdown of the season. Our first passing touchdown of our career, and we're going to be down 17 to 10, which isn't that big of a deal. We do get the ball back at halftime, um, and with another great drive, we can be right back in this game and possibly tie it back up. So that's exactly what we're going to aim for. Uh, we're going to give CJ Anderson a couple carries here and get him involved, and he gets a nice little 12-yard rush here, and that kind of it kind of lets me realize I got to start getting him more involved. So I give him another rush up the middle, and he goes absolutely beast mode right here with a 50-yard run all the way from midfield, obviously, to the end zone. And we are going to tie this game back up 17-17. to 17. So CJ Anderson really getting himself involved early in the game. Uh, showing me that, I mean, I possibly need to start running the ball a lot this season. Now, it wasn't ideal. I mean, of course, I want to get as many um, passing plays as possible. Try to boost my stats and try to, I don't know, take as much control of the game as possible. But having a great running back, or at least CJ Anderson, if he's playing like a great running back, that's something I really like to have. Um, it opens the field up a lot for me, especially with play actions and things of that nature. So... Um, it's not a bad idea to try to run the ball more. TJ Anderson did a great job. He doesn't get a whole lot of carries uh, after those couple of touches, but um, uh, it was nice to see him to do a lot out of the limited carries that he was able to get. But you see, I'm continuing to move downfield. I'm not trying anything too crazy now. I'm I'm very well aware that my, uh, my throwing accuracy is not anywhere near where I want it to be. I need to work on all my stats a lot. Um, so I try to do a good job of not tr forcing too much, not throwing the ball too far downfield. I think I did a very good job of that. The only real big play you've seen so far is me throwing it downfield on the left side of the field to Demaryius Thomas. That was the second play of the game, and that was so long ago. I had no reference, but either way, this is a really big player right here. He's going to run to the one-yard line, and I fumble the ball to Luke, Ke or Luke Keekly in the end zone. Now, this is a really big play because if I had just run the ball out of bounds, if I had dove out of bounds, if I had been a little bit smarter with the football there, we would be about within a couple of yards from the end zone, likely putting up another touchdown on the board, but because of my inability to actually make a good play there, 
Uh, the Panthers get the ball back. We don't get any points on the board, and they manage to get a field goal. So we're down by three points here with six minutes left. So that was that was actually really upsetting that I made that type of I made that stupid of a mistake, you know. But the thing is, I am a rookie quarterback. Those mistakes will be made. I don't know why my guy is diving head first. I don't know if I'm pressing the button wrong. Uh, but either way, we're going to get a huge bomb of touchdown here. 56 yarder over the right side of the field. So that's going to be our second passing touchdown of the game. And we are actually going to take a lead here. But it's not going to last very long. As the Panthers are going to come back down here and get a touchdown of their own. And we are going to be down by three once again. This time with three and a half minutes left. So with a touchdown, we can likely seal the game. Uh, putting Cam Newton in an uncomfortable situation. Uh, but a field goal is all that is really necessary here. Um, obviously for us to be comfortable and us to hopefully force a game into overtime the main thing here though is that we do need to put some points up because if we don't we are relying way too heavily on our defense we do have all three timeouts but i don't want us to have to rely on those um so you see they're gonna give me the, the coaches are gonna trust me a lot with a couple of opportunities here to pass the ball and i i basically capitalized see right here we're not gonna be able to get the first down sadly but that's all right we're all the way down to the 23 yard line and that will obviously be enough or it'll be in close enough range for us to get the field goal so that's enough to tie the game up before halftime or before overtime um, so obviously it's going to go into overtime. So you see right here, it's 27, 27. I'm going back to Gary Kubiak. We're just talking over the offense a little bit, talking about what we want to do. And then we're coming back here. Uh, I, I just figured I would show you guys all this, show you guys kind of the animations and all that stuff that they added into this game. This game is very nicely developed. I will, I'm not, I'm not being biased or anything. Madden did a very good job this year in terms of commentary. Um, the announcers, the, the just design and everything, they did a much better job than they have in previous years. They've added so much. And I think they did a really, really good job to be honest with you guys. Um, but you see right here, we actually end up losing the coin toss, so the Panthers will elect to receive. And luckily for us, they don't get a touchdown, but if you watch closely, just watch what they do. They do manage to work downfield a little bit, primarily through the running game. You see, um, they're going to get a nice run there by Jonathan Stewart there. They're going to get a nice reception. Another nice run by Cam Newton. I was watching a lot of these simulations while I was playing the game, and primarily all they were doing was running the ball with Cam Newton. And, um, and what's his face? Uh, Jonathan Stewart. They would just run the ball all day, and there's no stopping it. Uh, but you see, they keep working downfield, and it's looking really dangerous for us. Um, looking really dangerous for us. All the way down to the 26-yard line. Um, they get down to the 20, I believe. Yes, right there. It's fourth and one. They're going to sell it for the field goal. So, our very first play of overtime in our career, and an opportunity to take down the Carolina Panthers once again like we did in the Super Bowl. They're obviously looking for revenge. We step back in the pocket, and we get hit, and we fumble the ball, and then he picks up, and he fumbles the ball, and that will be the game. We don't happen to somehow get the ball back or anything, and the game ends in one fatal swoop, one missed carry on the ball, and we fumble it for the second time this game. And then somehow our offensive lineman picks it up and fumbles it himself. And that's that's the end of it, guys. That's how quickly a game can turn. And we had a very good we had a very good regular or a very good debut, I would say. A 124.8 QB rating is phenomenal. Just need to do a better job of of controlling the ball when I'm running the ball is, is really the main thing. The two fumbles were, were very costly in this game, so I need to work on that in the future. But if you guys enjoyed, please click that like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of this debut and what I could do to make this inter or this, make this series more interesting in the comment section below. And lastly, subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on my channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it so much, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.